China's most powerful aircraft carrier yet, the Fujian, has just entered advanced sea trials. What makes this development so significant is that the Fujian is China's first carrier equipped with electromagnetic catapults. These catapults allow fighter jets, stealth aircraft, drones, and AEW planes to launch from the deck with full combat loads at a rapid pace. And the Fujian is now eight trials in, meaning she's likely nearing full operational status. But the question remains, how did China manage to develop this advanced technology so quickly? And how does the Fujian compare to America's supercarriers? Let's dive in. The electromagnetic catapult system known as EMALS is a revolutionary technology that uses linear induction motors to launch aircraft. It offers several advantages over traditional steam-powered catapults, including increased reliability, faster launch times, and the ability to recover and recycle energy during the launch process. The benefits of EMALS are significant. For instance, they can launch aircraft 30% faster than traditional catapults and enable them to take off with heavier payloads. Furthermore, the recovered energy can be recycled for other uses on the ship, reducing demands on the power plant and increasing overall efficiency. But developing such a system is no easy feat. It requires advanced engineering and technological capabilities, as well as extensive testing and refinement to ensure reliability and safety. Despite these challenges, China has made significant strides in developing its email system, investing heavily in research and development, and adopting a rapid prototyping approach. The result is a cutting-edge launch system that is comparable to the best in the world. In fact, the Fujian's email system is not only comparable to America's, it actually surpasses it in some key ways. For example, China's emails can launch aircraft from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 1.5 seconds, which is faster than the American equivalent. Additionally, the system can recover up to 80% of the energy used in the launch process which is significantly higher than the 50% recovery rate of American systems. With the successful completion of these sea trials, China is one step closer to having a full-fledged supercarrier capable of projecting power far beyond its coastline. The Fujian represents a major leap forward for China's navy and marks a significant milestone in the country's ambitious military modernization program. As China's first blue water capable carrier, it will undoubtedly play a pivotal role in the country's growing efforts to secure its interests in the Asia Pacific region and beyond. Now, what do you think about this new development? Feel free to share your thoughts below, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to show your support. Your engagement helps us continue delivering quality content. Thanks for watching.